What's going on, world, man? It's your boy Spencer Prince right here. Look, man, I'm going to give y'all a late night story time. Uh, well, experience time. I don't know what to call it. It's going to be it's something. Just know it's at night. Now, this is about a situation that I went through when I was in the seventh grade. Never forgot. Listen, seventh grade, right? Uh, just got back. Just, first, it's like the beginning of school time or whatever, in August or whatever. Just spent the summer down with my grandparents, you know, in the Carolina, and got some jeans or whatever, some Lee jeans, and they had the belt with the chain they used to hang down or whatever. It was the, like it was like the wallet with the chain they used to hang on the side. Anyway, nobody else was wearing these at all at this time. Nobody was wearing them, so I'm wearing them proud at school, wearing it with the chain dangling on the side. Mm, mm, mm. You know what I'm saying? Here goes a kid, walks up to me, or whatever the case may be, and proceeds to insult me and my chain, huh? And my wallet. He even insulted the wallet. Talking crazy, just mad crazy. Like, why you got a chain on your pants? That look dumb. That's stupid. Or whatever the case may be. Just get a belt. You know? Oh, that wallet's dumb. Who uses pirates this later on in life? It has skull heads. That's how you know that that's dead. Ah, it's going on and on and on, right? Two weeks later, right? It becomes a trend nationwide. Tell me why the same fool that insulted me for having a chain on my pants. I catch him in the hall, and guess what? He got a chain on his pants. So you know I go in. And I remind him of all the stuff he said, but I said back to him. Hmm? He left hurt that day. Basically, guys, the moral of this story that I'm trying to get y'all to understand by telling y'all about this experience, bro, don't talk about my chain, bro. Don't talk about my wallet either. Have a good night.